Sarasota County is working to improve traffic signals with a $2.8 million project funded by the Florida Department of Transportation. SNN Samantha Sonner has more on how this could help your commute. With lots of cars on the road, drivers in Sarasota could find themselves held up at a light at a busy intersection. I do find that the traffic lights, uh, they do take a long time to change. You end up waiting at the light a long time and I find there's a lot of traffic here. Sarasota County is now in phase five of a plan to help mitigate traffic. Traffic engineering and operations manager Robert Fackery says they will be adding hardware to more traffic lights that will allow them to be changed from the regional traffic center. They will add 34 signals to the overall uh, system. Uh, the county have 236 signals and uh, this will take a, a piece of that and install it in the uh, what we call the traf advanced traffic management system. Factory says the ATMS system is monitored by engineers who can make adjustments. Mitigate uh, for increased traffic congestion uh, as well as improve traffic operations and management uh, capabilities in Sarasota and Manatee County. The new hardware will let engineers change the lights manually in case of accident or detour. The engineer here at his desk could sit down uh, go to the software and look at the timing parameters and modify them quickly. So the response time is much faster, quicker, and that will translate into a smoother uh, uh, travel. 213 traffic signals in Sarasota County are currently on the ATMS system. Construction on the new signals is expected to begin this fall. In Sarasota, I'm Samantha Sonner, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And many of the upgraded signals will be on Lockwood Ridge, 17th Street, Proctor Road, and Fruitville Road, east of I-75.